Welcome to the third match of week four of the Trainer School League. I am your host, Fee, and today we have my co-host, Naolis. Take two. <laughs> Take two. Uh, today our competitors are Wired of the Phoenix Phantoms and Riven, who is the coach of the Red Hot Chili Pallipers. Um, so let's check out what kind of diff or changes they got to their team. Uh, starting off with the Phoenix Phantoms, we got that Skeledurge and that uh, Vizula, and that's what I'm going to say. Or Venezuelan or otherwise, Vel I want to say something else. Um, the Venezuelan Veluza. Damn right, the Venezuelan Veluza. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. S no traits on this Pokemon or on this team. Um, is there any like anything that you're looking out specifically for? Not just not particularly. The, the just a lot of solid Pokemon that can come through. The the I'm excited to see if this uh, Veluza is going to be the ter uh, the one that does Terra because it's uh, that exclusive move fillet away which is like a cut your health and like a belly drum and, and shell smash mixed into one mm -hmm. uh, i'm excited to see that just because it gets so fast and so strong and if it goes like ter if it goes something like terra water i'm really not sure save for like the azumarill on ribbon's team that i'm not sure what what really lives an awful cutter from this thing especially after that sharpness ability boost and the skeleton is just, just going to be an annoying pokemon it's just bulky it sets up its own special attack with torch song and there's just I a, a defensive terror from this is going to be a nightmare for Riven to deal with. Yeah, most definitely. I'm thinking maybe the the Vizula turns into I don't know a fighting type because that seems pretty funny into Riven's team. But I I think of a Rada Water Rada. Yep, Rada. Yep, that's where we're gonna go with. I think with the Rada <laughs> is gonna be the best type uh, for it. Um, what about Riven's team? Let's see where the Red Hot Chili Pelippers. Um, Terra's, it looks like the only thing that got changed was into the Ferrigraph. Still got that Azumarill there. Uh, and the Dunsparce got traded in, which is yep. definitely traded interesting. Out the Lycanroc, traded out the Lycanroc Midnight for a Dunsparce to have just a really annoying, cheesy uh, Terra Flinchmon with Serene Grace and Headbutt and Body, body Slam. And this generation, because of the evolution that it got in the Dunsparce, uh, it now has the ability to access Eviolite, so it can be even... Uh, more annoying by being a tanky little guy, uh, but it'll be. Um, I'll, it's, I'm curious to see if we'll see. Well, if Riven brought it. Yeah. So let's bring it over to the match and see what they have brought for us. Okay. So we got on Riven's side the Electro, the Zoomerill, the Mousehold, Hatterene, uh, Hydrogen, and uh, that Ferrigaraf. And then for Wired's team, we got the Skeledurge, Venezuela. The, the olive branch uh yep. the iron hands glamora and don van the newer ones i'm just gonna scrap that i don't know them because it's a lot easier i mean you got iron hands and skeleton yeah it's because those are words <laughs> <laughs> venezuela is a, a, a place it, the olive branch is it's an olive branch like come on it, send it an olive branch for your friends <laughs> all right so we give them the start or the go ahead what do you think is going to be brought out here um well there's the dawn fan doesn't matter <laughs> i'm curious i'm interested to see if this dawn fan is just going to go straight for a knockoff or like something like stealth rocks and the mouse hold uh is we will we'll see it time and time again <laughs> it, 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 it goes for the population bomb it hits hard uh against this dawn fan even with this physical defense it doesn't resist it it is only the ground type so i'm curious to see i'm i'm i'm, I'm a little interested in how much damage that actually does I'm I'm gonna assume that a Rocky helmet's a thing. No, uh, no Rocky oh. helmet from the Dawn fan. It's. Uh, I wonder if it's. I wonder if this is an offensive Dawn fan. Um, but I might be wrong on that. If it goes for the Stealth Rocks here, uh, the Hatterenes are very good switching because it has that uh, Magic Bounce ability, and can just bounce it back, and then Wired's got to deal with that for the rest of the game. Because oh, although he does the the setter is also his spinner. Uh, goes for the Zoomer. Goes for the play run. Fifty percent. That was a lot. <laughs> well, no more belly drum. I, I might, I might have called it with this offensive Dawn fan. It might have a choice band on it because that's a lot of damage into the Azumarill. Yeah, sometimes you wish that uh, we just had a little calculator uh, to double check on, you know, what what that calc may be. See, I uh, believe I, I we we do actually we have access to that. 
and it looks like I I might be right in saying that it is a cho- the choice band version, but that liquidation, liquidation. it out <laughs> it outspeeds and just absolutely kicks its butt. <laughs> no, there's no way that he wasn't gonna click play rough again. It, it must have been like a roll or but something. I, it, he must have been hoping that he outsped, and because they that. Their speeds here is exactly the same. They both ma- they both have the max speed of two hundred eighteen, uh, but that liquidation doing an unreasonable amount, which makes me think that this zoom reel is also a choice ban because that that should not have killed if it is a normal like assault vest zoom reel or something like that. It must be something that adds more damage. Yeah, no, uh, damage uh, play rough takes two kills, but that uh, that liquidation takes one hundred percent of the kill. Uh, they're both choice man, which is really funny that they both brought choice man on the two tanky mons that they got. Yeah, now we, uh, um, we just now we're just out what comes out. Yeah, if you I mean, I don't even know who I'd switch in here. Probably our like, brain. yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Or or maybe Iron Hands. There's potential argument for uh, Veluza if you can see that it's choice man. Veluza can potentially live a. Uh, T- like it resists that liquidation probably doesn't lo- love taking the hit but um can, if it gets a fly away off then this this loses is in a pretty good chance to do some real damage <laughs> oh here okay. we go we got the iron hands uh now... once again once again i think this is actually pretty smart the liquidation never kills even with a with a choice band probably um probably just an electric move might just go for the wild charge or the thunder punch, depending on which one he want. He 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 values more in building. Um, there's not a lot of really good switch-ins for Riven over here. Even Electro resisting that electric type move is kind of just oh, it make goes out. fake out. Okay, flinch. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, think, I think we're start, I think we're well. Fake out has a hundred percent chance to flinch and just free damage. I think we're starting to see. Um, my favorite turn one button with this Iron Hands from Wire Dragon because he every time it comes out he just goes straight for that fake out because it's just this thing's bulky enough to live anything if you if they somehow are able to not be flinched something like an ability like Inner Focus or Armor Tail on that um, Rigorath and play rough another play rough I didn't know he... Iron Hands got play rough <laughs> <laughs> I mean he got big hands to play. Like those are those are gloves of any of anything. That is true. This is churn four, and it has been nothing but big swings from both players. Now, like, what is Riven going to here? Because he now I, knows that he has play rough, so the high dragon's out, and he knows that this uh this iron hand is slower than the Azumarill. This Farigarath could come in and go for a psychic or like a. If, if he wants to use the signature move Twin Beam, something like that, or maybe even a setup move on his own. And uh, just, this photograph has a lot of options into this Iron Hands, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, the the Psychic should be able to take it out from here. Um, if he wants think, to go Mouse Hold, maybe Population Bomb beats it? I think last week with the uh, photograph, he did a Confuse Ray and Thunder Wave. Yeah. Which th- is just mean, but Thunder Wave's not going to do yeah. anything. I don't know if it's not going to do anything to the Iron Hand, no, but if it's more on a more offensive version. Oh, here's the photograph. There we go. Um, no shiny. Unfortunate. It's so orange. It really is. It's it's <laughs> unreasonably orange. <laughs> like, it's uh, shiny is like unreasonably red, but this is just like I guess. Okay, so I'm expecting an Arboliva switch out here. Switching to Arboliva. Just kind of just chill there, get the uh, uh, its ability off, seed we're off, something like that. It, it's just it's just a special wall on base, so it can survive a pretty good hit from this Frigoraf. Um, any damage on it is always kind of nice because it, but it does have a lot of recovery and leech seed and strength sap as as options. But there's not a lot of physical attackers on Riven's team. This this not 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 especially now that the Azumarill's down. Skeleton is... comes out. There's the twin beam. Goes okay. Into the twin beam. Okay. Now that's a uh, leftover is shown on the on the skeleton, so it is a bulkier version. Um, 
I'm curious. I'm very curious as to what this Terra type is. Going into it, my expectation was Terra Fairy, just because then it's this is an answer and a wall to this Hydreigon, and also doesn't die to the Azumarill anymore. Um, but if it's if it's something more offensive, like just straight up Terra Fire, I'm legitimately curious to see what this program is going to do. It switches back into the Hattering. What's for the Slack? Slack okay. okay, okay, fair enough. That's fair. Get some healing up. No, knows that the Frograph can't do much to it, and uh, Frograph not going for the Terra. Maybe doesn't want to. Maybe Ruby doesn't want to uh, dedicate the Terra yet. Just wants to keep options open. Now, something that I've noticed is that quite a few times we've seen trainers just turn on their their Terra to be just Terra Fairy, which is at Torsan. Okay. No now, this damage is, onto this, the combo. I, I'm worried that Riven may be forgetting about this unaware ability off of the Skeleturge. The Skeleturge will completely ignore any boosts to special defense from the Hattering, and uh, I, I'm just not sure what this Hattering in its usual moveset can really do to this Skeleturge. And this Skeleturge is just going to start clicking Torch Song and just get damage off. Yeah, and the shadow, shadow Ball. ball. <laughs> oh, it says, I don't want the head ring here anymore. Mm -hmm. Is there any other Pokemon? I mean, he could bring out the uh, Glamora now and just start tossing out rocks. That's true. Um, but is there any real reason to switch out the Skeleturge yet? No. Switch no, Switcheroo. So it gets a Choice Scarf. Goes for the will o <laughs> I don't know if that but was now... a good idea. <laughs> Well, now the Skeletor is just choice into using Will-O-Wisp. It can't, it can't use any other move. Oh! And, uh, until, the, until it switches out. I thought the uh, 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 the Skeletor did have the choice card. Okay, so now it is stuck in the leftovers. Will it had a leftovers that was revealed uh, earlier on. But the this mouse holds, the, the impact this mouse hold is going to have is significantly lowered now that it's one slower and two uh, burned. That damage output is going to be a lot a lot lower. It's actually going to be cut in half, literally. <laughs> I mean, because now you can switch into the Glamora and get the um, Toxic Ubri off, because if it does a physical move. Or it doesn't. Okay, that works. Once again, I, I don't see a lot of reason for the Skeletors to be switching out. We still haven't seen the, the Terra type from it. We've seen all four moves. Torch Song, Slack Off, Shadow Ball, Will-O-Wisp. But it yes. is. And, and Wired staying in um, just to, like even locked into the Will O Wisp, like staying in, not really having a reason to switch until he's a able to see what Riven wants to do. Because most in most worlds, this mouse hold can't do much of anything to the Skeleturge unless it's running bite, but even then, that's not a lot of damage. Just in the okay. Arbaliva goes for the no. substitute. Okay, funny. interesting, annoying, and funny. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what. Still don't know what. For, for, eh, I still don't know what Frigraph does to Arboliva, considering this thing is such a special wall. Wish. Oh, no. Why does it have a wish? Oh, no. <laughs> and now it's a sub off. It is the it is the subathon that no one wanted. And here we go with the twin beam going off. It hits twice. Dazzling gleam. All substitutes fade. The wish came true. How much damage does this Dazzling Gleam do to the, the Frigograph? It's enough to break the sub, so it's over 25%, but what does it just... Uh, there's a, the chance that... No, this, there is a chance that this Frigograph could be Sap Sipper, so you can't get a lot of, like, the the Energy Ball or something can't be going off, but I think Wired's playing around that by going for the Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, and the Arbor Levy came out, so there's no Seed Seller, so it has to be Harvest. But... Hats well, we haven't seen we haven't seen Arbaliva get hit by uh, like legitimately uh, hit by a move yet. Twin Beam, t twin, both hits from Twin Beam hit the um, so. hit the substitute. Yes, Seed okay, Sower activates it's the when it is hit when it is hit with a move. Okay, I thought I was on switching. Like a lot of the other no, ones. That, that's Grassy Terrain or Grassy Pulse or whatever it's called. The one that Rillaboom had, or still has, I guess now in. Pokemon Home, but that's kind of irrelevant to this league. Now we're just sitting here. Another Twin Beam. There's the Seed Sower up. Okay. It's, it's seed sower. The it's Red Card! <laughs> we, need, we need to... People, so many people have been running this Red Card in this league so far. It's very interesting, but uh, now I don't know what this 
Wait, what does this Electro do to this Arboliva? We've seen Electro types in against this Arboliva before that just don't do anything. I mean, he... I mean, the... We've seen him use uh, Explosion before, which I think is a terrible thing to do in this situation. But if he does it, that would be really funny. <laughs> that would be very funny, I agree. It um, would be a complete loss, I, but it would be really I funny. Wanna, I kind of want to see a switch into the Rigoraf here again. Iron Hands, okay. Okay, for the, so the Volt Switch. The Volt Switch. Okay. There's, like, there's no world that he... Or they uh, do Explosion, right? Like, they just have it. I don't believe they have it on their set this time around. Um, that the damage they took from that... Uh, what move did they just go for? From the Dazzling Gleam, it was a truly small amount. I feel like this is, might be actually a bulky version of this of the of Voltorb, which is kind of wild because Voltorb is not known for its bulk. And we got the Ferrugaraf coming out once again. Again, this Iron Hands doesn't it get, can go for the fake out and reveal whether or not this is an armor tail version of uh, Ferrugaraf or not. Or Wired can just hard switch out into the Ar into back into the Skeleturge, which we know is faster now. Um, with the uh, oh, goes to the Terra Ghost and gets ghost. the. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, Why? No, it's not Armor Tail technically. <laughs> True. Uh, use a twin beam, taking out the iron hands. So the yeah. both trainers are down two Pokemon. Finally, it turns sixteen. That, something happens. That was very funny. And something we I just I just realized we we see that the Skeletor does not does not have Terra Blast. So the moves that it has are are all it has to do damage. So this this Hydreigon's looking pretty decent into well, like for for being able to actually potentially take out the Skeletor if it's. Um, if it's got like something like Dark Pulse or anything like that, and even if it's um like say Terra Fairy, which is what I'm kind of expecting, like I said in the intro, uh, Hydreigon still has access to Flash Cannon, which can do it. So, uh, the main issue I think is still going to be this Veluza. This Veluza is also able to Terra still, and will be terrifying if it can get up that uh, fillet away. Now, now we're just... now. Yeah, just just waiting. Do something. Anything. Both these He's probably still reacting because both of them are in a call uh, together. <laughs> probably just chatting. oh, they're probably they're probably making fun of each other and shooting <laughs> shooting each other barbs left and right. I just I'm like, oh, very, man. part of me wishes that we could have a player comp like a player uh, mic on so the record so we could just cut in and be like, what are they saying? <laughs> yeah, we did see that illegal recording stuff happen, but uh, we shut that down. And Venezuela comes out with a Terra Water doing a Night Slash. We said a whole bunch and a Terra Blast coming from the Perugaraf. It's it's okay. So that Night Slash is very is 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 good. Does not kill, which is kind of wild, but no longer uh, healthy enough to really have a chance to go for this fillet away. Uh, another Night Slash will kill the Perugaraf, so it's kind of up to Riven if they want to save this, uh, save it. But they he just they decide to to sack it off. Uh, sure. probably go switch into the electrode here. Uh, it's... No one's uh, the Hydreigon! Okay, well, do you do you know a fancy, what, electric uh, or grass move? I'm more Aqua not Jet sure resist. what, it's more of, I think, a question of what does this uh, Veluza do to the Hydreigon? I'm not sure what kind of damage it can do. But the, <laughs> the focus, focus energy, energy? is this a Scofland's focus energy? I Aqua think it Jet. is, and it just gets to go for the Draco, Draco Meteor. Meteor. Sure, get the crit. <laughs> Didn't matter, but he gets the crit. Well, no, no, every single hit after the Focus Energy is going to be a critical hit now. Because oh. I'm, going to, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be a Scope Lens version of, of Hydreigon. So that every, it can just spam the Draco Meteor here, and nothing, uh, and it doesn't care about its own special attack drops. Now, into the Skeletors that didn't matter in the first place, that unaware ability will actually make it so that the, the uh, the special attack drops don't matter uh, as well, but into this Arbelieve and this Glamora, this looks very, very well positioned. Uh, I'm, I'm super serious. I don't know with the 52% a health uh, Glamora, uh, I Arbelieve, and this Glamora, I don't know what uh, Wired Dragon has that can really live this anymore. <laughs> now, has Wired rocked off his Terra yet, or no? He used Terra Water on his Belusa. 
Hera, what? That's where it was. Okay, I was like, I just saw it. Which, which one was it? <laughs> yeah, it was not that terrifying like you predicted, but it was the, which would have been funny. Still, I just not. I it would probably had. I don't think Belusa gets access to a fighting type move. Um, it would have had terrifying at that point. Yeah, there's your Belusa. I can't imagine this Arbaliva survives a crit Draco Meteor, though. Sir, can I can I extend an olive branch to you? <laughs> <laughs> can we have peace? <laughs> and there oh, it is. Oh, okay. That's up the grassy terrain, and that might be what the goal was, because it can potentially allow some Pokemon to live a little bit longer, but this critical hit boost is just going to... It's, it's, I'm very interested. Does this, is this Skeledurge able to survive? a uh draco meteor crit and if so like but it only has shadow ball and torch song to really hit it back maybe going for a will-o-wisp to just get continuous chip off i don't because the draco meteor is what is a physical move or a special draco meteor is a 140 power special move special okay so... switching into this oh it's soundproof <laughs> we're switching the torch song <laughs> <laughs> My mid said, "Nah, no." That, that to me, that means that he that that Riven wasn't actually worried about how much damage this Skeletor was going to be able to do, especially after getting the plus one off of the um. Just for the thunder, forty-one percent. Just for the thunder, but it is it song. is choiced into the into the torch song and can no longer do any damage. <laughs> to and this and Wire Dragon does not want to switch this Glamora in to a any move from this Electrode. Oh my goodness, the this. Riven was in the kitchen this week. <laughs> <laughs> my fan was cooking. This guy was cooking. <laughs> okay, there's the Glamora. Switching in. Gets the thunder. 49%. 49%. I don't believe it's going to live the next one, but maybe. I believe it will be a roll to live another one, but I don't believe it can kill it back. Sludge Wave. Sludge wave. Something. Mirror, Mirror code. code. Oh my god. Wait, does that mean there was a scarfed Glamora too? Now this 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 Another Skeletor thunder. can start going for Shadow, Shadow Ball. Ball, but it does twenty percent. God, that's this a is jag. A, this is an is assault it? vest is it? electrode, and that is it. Riven <laughs> planned so well and played so well in, in giving that Skeletor the, ch the the choice item and a, the soundproof of it. Oh my goodness, I could gush for a hundred years about this deal. <laughs> That was so cool. <laughs> that was uh, uh, both. You know, both players did a wonderful job. That's twenty-seven turns of just hard thinking of how am I gonna win, and Riven helped himself or helped themselves to the win. Definitely good job on that. Uh, good. Incredible performance from both players. Just absolutely bananas. Uh, but just we do want to. Like, look, just looks like a little bit better planning on uh, on Riven Helfer's side. Yeah, thanks for uh, catching us on this video. Uh, we got plenty more that you can comb through. Um, with that, thank again, thanks for watching. Go touch some grass. Go drink some water. You, you need it. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. bye.